Hi guys. So today I'm going to discuss about phonetics. Phonetics is very essential when it comes to pronunciation. So usually we call it IPA, International Phonetic Alphabet. So this is a language, let's call it, that's got its own symbols or if you can call an alphabet set entirely consisting of 44 letters. So this creates a system where using these 44 symbols, we can read any language of the world. So understanding the phonetics in a better manner, we'll go step by step vividly analyzing each sound so that we'll have a better analysis of phonetics. Phonetics consists of phonemes. Phonemes are speech sounds which we use in phonetics. So this is the complete you know, division of phonetics or classification of phonetics. Phonetics has 44 sounds altogether, which are universally accepted. And those 44 sounds are divided or classified into ovals and consonants. There are many people who get confused. There are only 26 letters in English and 26, 26 sounds. But when we really understand, there are 44 sounds in English. And phonetics really helps us to understand how they are classified. 20 vowel sounds and 24 consonant sounds. And consonants really stop there. And we can go on dividing or classifying vowels into other sets. And let's divide them and understand. Vowels are further classified into monophthongs or pure sounds, which are 12 in number. On the other side, we have diphthongs. They're eight in number, and they're also called as the glides. Usually, diphthongs are made up of monophthongs. Some of the monophthongs are put together to create certain sounds in phonetics, so that's why they don't remain as pure sounds. So diphthongs and their itself, coming to the monophthongs again further, we can classify them into two. That is short sounds and long sounds. Short sounds, there are seven, and there are five long sounds. So this is the classification of phonetics. Let's see it again. Phonetics are 44 in number. There are 44 symbols, which are individual sounds. So here there is no confusion, because in English, some letters have two sounds or three sounds. So there is a possibility of getting confused. But when it comes to phonetics, absolutely the confusion has been removed. There is no confusion because each symbol or each letter has its own authentic sound, which will not match with the other one. There are 44 symbols or 44 phonemes or speech sounds in phonetics. They're further divided into vowels and consonants, 20 vowel sounds and 24 consonant sounds. Ovals are further divided into monophthongs or pure sounds, which are 12 in number. On the other hand, we have diphthongs. They're also called as glides and they're eight in numbers. Next, we have monophthongs for the divisions. Short sounds, we have seven. And long sounds, we have five. This is a phonetic. Start. So on the one side, we have monophthongs. On the other side, we have diphthongs. On top layer, we have ovals. On the lower layer, we have consonants. So some of these letters may look identical with English alphabet. But when it comes to the pronunciation, they differ. So let's understand them, how they have sounds. Let's understand the monophthongs. 
on the left side we have six sounds on the right side we have another six sounds yes the first one is e sound that's also called as short e as in ship as in ship as in king here we can see this is phonetic transcription ship i have underlined here to make you understand second you can see king so e as in ship here this is a phonetic transcription e as in king here we have the transcription and it is a short sound this is e or we can call it as long e as in sheep as in sheep and as in heat we can have the phonetic transcription this side sheep and heat sheep and heat third one we have o sound o sound or short o sound as in good as in good you can see the transcription here as in good and the next word we have cook short o it is pronounced as cook so you can see the transcription next we have o otherwise we can call it as long o long o as in fruit as in mute you can see the transcription fruit see the symbol here has been represented here a uh, fruit mute again this is a long sound you can find the long sound here next we have a it looks like e symbol in english kindly don't get confused because this a sound in phonetics as in ten as in bed here we have the transcription ten and bed both look similar as in english in english we can use capital letters but in phonetics we don't have that option here this is the sound a sound as in ago and father you can see this transcription here a sound a symbol is here ago and father you can see here at the end in the word father the a sound is coming at the end and r is silent this r is silent in this transcription on the other side we have here o sound this is uh, let's let me tell you it is prolonged o usually when i r come together and r is not pronounced and e a r come together and r is not pronounced r is remaining silent there then we use this symbol o sound as in bird as in bird you can see here so r is not placed here is bird and next we have learn next we have long o sound let's let me call it as o sound and example is water and all so you can see the transcription here water all and it is a long sound on top also we have o that is bird and learn again that is a long sound and prolonged sound coming to the next sound um let me tell you on the top we have o sound people sometimes due to mother tongue influence they uh, mispronounce it let me say you we have all people mispronounce it as al kal so actually it should be pronounced as all or call next we have a sound this is also called as ligature this having two sounds a and a it becomes a sound and it is recognized as singular sound as an apple as in cat so we have the transcription here apple cat next we have o sound it is very short very short o as in cut as in up we have the transcription here the symbol is been put here cut and up next we have long r sound as in car 
it is a prolonged sound, prolonged sound as in car, but as in but we have the transcription here. Car R is silent. And the other one, but again, this is a long sound. It's been identified as long sound. Next we have R sound as in God, as in pot. So this has been represented here or placed here. God and pot. So this is all about monophthongs or pure sounds. Next we have diphthongs. These are also called as glides. So we have here ear, ear as in near and cheer. We have the transcription here, near. You can see this symbol ear in the word cheer. You can see the transcription here. Second, we have a, a sound as in wait, as in train. Wait, you can see the transcription here. A sound is here, wait. And train, A sound is coming here. And these diphthongs are recognized as singular sounds. They are not recognized or called as dual sound. They may produce dual sounds, still they recognize as singular sounds in order to count the syllables in words. Uo, uo as in tour and poor. So you can have the transcription here, tour and poor. Actually, people mispronounce it as tour and poor, black, but it should be pronounced as tour and poor. Next we have oi, oi as in boy, oi as in oil. So we have the transcription here, boy and oil, oi as in boy and oil. On the other side, we have o. O as in show, as in boat. You can see here transcription, show and boat. Uh, people in India usually pronounce it like show and boat. But this O sound does not exist in English. Actually it is O, show as, and boat. Show and boat. Next we have air sound as in hair, as in chair. We have the transcription, hair and chair. Next we have I sound as in my, as in kite. You can see the side, my, it is written this way, my and kite. The last diphthong is ow. So we can see this, there is short ow here on the fifth number and on the eighth number we have uh, ow, where the mouth becomes round shaped. Ow, as in now, as in sound. So you can see the transcription here. Ow, now, and sound. Okay, this is all about diphthongs, glide sounds, eight in number. We have completed so far the monophthongs, 12 in number, and diphthongs, eight in number. So ovals are completed. We can go to consonant sounds. They are 24 in number. And let's see first the 12 consonants here in this page. The first is P. Okay, it's P as in pen and part. You can see the transcription here, part and pen. Second, we have B as in bat. Uh, we have the transcription here, bat. This is ligature and bell. Third, we have t as in tap, as in train. We have the transcription on the right side, tap and train. Next, we have d sound as in dam and danger. Your right side, we have the transcription, dam. This slash has been put extra, so don't get confused. It's not there. Dam and danger. You can see the transcription of danger here. Danger. So it may look very simple on in English, but when it comes to phonetic transcription, 
it looks vivid and if you understand the transcription it looks it becomes very easy and are you silent here next we have cho symbol it is pronounced as cho as in cheese as in child you can see here cheese the sound is coming at the end z cheese child child i sound is here this is a diphthong coming to the next sound that is j actually the slash has come down due to space otherwise it was supposed to be here it is j sound as we could see it here in danger we could see it in danger so we have j sound as in jar as in judge so jar we have here and r is silent here we can call it as jar and judge this is jo and sh very short o and jo judge on the sixth, seventh number we have co, co sound as in king as in class you can see here king okay shorty and class so we don't use double s here because we go with the sound not with the letters it is class next we have go sound as in group as in gap okay you can see the transcription group long u is here and gap legato a is here and go sound you can see in the beginning of the word next we can see for for uh we can have the example of family and fan and it is transcribed here as family and fan family for sound in the beginning here in the second word fan again for sound in the beginning next we have vo sound vo sound when we pronounce this vo sound the lower lip has to touch the upper denture upper teeth so suddenly the breath has to be released the air has to be released like vo 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 as in van vo as in wine so we have the transcription here van and wine usually this kind of pronunciation comes of vo we pronounce it when it is stressed when it is accented primarily so the stress falls on vo so it it is pronounced van wine next we have th uh, being indians we find it difficult to pronounce th sound because we have th sound in our languages but actually it is th as in think see the transcription here think okay think going to the next one the as in them as in mother the as in then and the as in mother the transcription is here then and mother looking at all these 12 consonant sounds being new to consonants you may find this symbol ch j s and d as new symbols other symbols were identical to english letters so these four are new to us next we have from 13 this is s as in sing as in see we have here sing and c is long e z as in z zero and zoo we can see the pronunciation of zero here zero and zoo okay going to the next sound that is sh as in shark as in shy shark r is silent here we can see the pronunciation of shark sh symbol as in shy next j j sound as in vision vision as in measure j sound as in vision and measure see the symbol on the right side vision vision so j symbol is here and in the next word measure the j symbol is here next we have more more sound at the slash has been down it was supposed to be here the due to space it has moved down more as in mango as in man mango you can see here mango 
and man. So this is a more simple than used in these two words. Next, we have n sound as in news, as in net, news, net, news, and net. Next, we have on the 90th number, n. Usually, it is very difficult to understand if you are new to this. It is pronounced as n. As uh, you can see the, in the words, song, think. You can see in the words, song and think this is a transcription on the right side song think so this is a symbol in the word think and in this word song you could see this word even in sing here on the left side and you can see this in even mango and you could see this in the last slide that is king you can you could see that in the word king as well here you can see king you can see this. So next sound we have ho. Ho has an ha hat. Oh, there is a mistake here. It is supposed to be hat. Oh, instead of t, r is being placed here. So I apologize for the mistake. It is hat. And the next word is hair. So we have the transcription here hat and hair. So this this air is a diphthong and this is a ligature but we are focusing here on her sound that is hat and hair that is h in english next we have low sound as in light as in wall light wall in the word light low sound is coming in the beginning and in the word wall it's coming at the end. Next sound we have r as in river and rice. River and rice. A river we have here and rice. Next. Next we have wa sound. Wa sound. Actually, there may be a confusion between wa, which we had in the last page. That is this one on the 10th number, ban and wine. And here we have wa, where the lower lip does not touch the upper denture. Actually, it is pronounced wa, wa. So there is no touching of the teeth. Okay, even the lips are not touching wa, wa. Lips come together, but they don't touch. Wicket, as in wicket, as in well. We have the pronunciation here wicket and well. The last sound is yo. Yo sound. It looks like a J symbol, but it is pronounced as yo. Yo as in yes. Yo as in hello. Yes, you can see here. And hello, you can see this side. So, totally 24 consonants we have. And we have completed 24. Let's see from the beginning. This is po. This is bo. To. Do. Cho. J, K, G, F, V, V, S, D. Next we have S, Z, Sh, J, M, N, N, H, L, R, V, Y. So these 24 sounds are part of consonant sounds. So here we complete all the 44 consonant sounds. Further, we can see voiced and unvoiced consonant sounds. So all the vowel letters come under the voiced section. The consonant section, we have unvoiced consonants. So these are unvoiced, these are voiced. The primary thing to understand what are unvoiced or which are which consonants are voiced and which consonants are unvoiced when it comes to unvoiced you can keep your fingers near to your throat and see that when you pronounce those sounds there won't be vibration in the throat you can sense it through your fingers if your throat is very harsh you can find even vibration in unvoiced sounds but there will be mild vibration 
uh, in comparison to voiced ones. Let's check them out. For on the other side we have ver, ver, fur, and ver, fat, vat, fat, vat, fat, vat. Next we have k as in come, g as in gum, p, b, s, z, t, d, ch, j, th, d, sh, j. Let's pronounce them again. F, v, k, g, p, b, s, z, t, d, ch, j, th, d, sh, j. On the left side we have unvoiced, on the right side we have voiced. So sound articulation, how it happens? Usually the vocal cords which are in the throat, they produce the sounds and with the help of mouth, with the help of the tongue, with the help of the entire oral system, we pronounce the sounds, we articulate the sound. The denture, palate, and even the lips, even the vocal cords in the throat help in producing sounds. So some may be produced in the mouth itself, with the help of tongue and teeth or maybe palate or maybe lips, but some sounds need the help of throat. So you can see it here, nasal cavity, all over the ridge, palate, velum, teeth, lip, upper lip, tongue tip, and this is lower teeth, this is lip, lower lip. This is the position where tongue is at rest, this is tongue raised, and epiglottis, this is epiglottis. We have the glottis here, space between vocal cords, and then trachea, trachea is here, and uvula. So, so there are many sounds being produced from, uh, you know, in the beginning of the mouth, that is teeth, upper teeth, lips, the tongue, tongue tip, and the lower teeth and lower lip. And sometimes we use the tongue in the raised position to pronounce some or articulate some sounds that time alveolar, alveolar ridge as well as palate, they come to aid to pronounce certain words or certain letters. Next we have, again it is uh, for the easy understanding of the same picture. So that's all for today. We can see the further things in the next class. Till then, keep watching, have a good time, bye.